Alright, describe the characteristics of each of the following transmission media. Twisted Pier. Twisted Pier is uh two copper wires that are twisted onto each other and transmit electrical signals. Basically. Is there anything else? Yes. Fiber optic cables, these are glass cores surrounded by uh, insulation um, insulation sheets they transmit light um, all right a ring network has four computers but one of the computers has failed explain one modification to the ring network that will allow the three remaining computers to still transmit data use a diagram in your response yeah a diagram so we put one ring network here, and 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 like that. Alright, so what I want to say is explain one modification that will allow three remaining computers. So let's say this computer is the one that doesn't work. What you're going to have to do is you're going to have to create a link from here to here and jump the wire like that. So it's basically create connections before and after the damaged computer. A normal ring or like a single ring network, it will provide it will go the other direction. Okay. Alright, C for the aid of a diagram, so the role of a hub. A hub distributes network traffic to all devices in a network. So you have device here, device here, up here, and yeah, really not much other other stuff you could do for the diagram basically. That's it. So this is the hub and this is the PC or device or node or whatever you want to call it. If they call it a node, they could call it a that device out Outline rule of a file. So with the other diagram, I explain how data is communicated in a this is the diagram paper. Huh? They, they, they really did the most here to make sure you know how to draw. Thanks for them. Alright, so D. Alright, D is for the other eight of a diagram. I explain how data is communicated in a data tree that level A network. That's basically a, a wireless network, right? So you're going to have a um to have a router and the router will go to a switch the switch will go to an access point a p access point and the access point will send wireless signals and the wireless signals will go to a device so what we want to say is the access point sends a radio wave signal via an antenna or transmitter the devices would have a receiver that can interpret the signal and the trans and read the data all right key points is you, you must have the radio wave signal must have that you must have a transmitter and you must have the receiver decoding it and the diagram must show that somehow Explain the rule of each of layers 1 to 5 of the OSI model. Now, just remember, layer 1 is at the bottom and you go your work your way up, right? So, layer 1 is physical, electrical signals, 2, 1s, and 0s. Electrical signals, electrical signals. 2, data link. Data link now is going to be um, grouping of bits to create a MAC address or you could also say synchronization of bits. Three, please do not network um, assigning an IP address to logically um, differentiate the device on the network. Four, transport, grouping or decoding data streams so they can be sent over the network. And five, please do not touch Steve's Steve session. Um, authenticating users and keeping them connected. Yep, it said state, but <laughs> what do they mean by state? They said state the role. So you could have stated by just stating physical detailing network transport and session. I don't know if that'll give you the five marks, but um, 
Here the examiner's report. The key to this question was to identify layers 1 to 5 only. Yeah, these people are crazy, you know. People are crazy. Part F. Assess candidates' knowledge of layers of the OSI and their corresponding functions. Though it was well attempted, knowledge of the names of the layer, order of layers, and purpose of each layer was lacking overall. The key to this question was to identify layers 1 to 5 only. Layer 1 being the physical layer, 5 being the session layer. A few candidates labeled the application layers layer 1 and made the, pass, um, the answer partially incorrect. So, I mean, if you say the first 5 people will come from the top going down, I'm, I, I don't understand why they see that as a problem. But who am I? But I'm my manner. Yeah, so I gather that it could be a 10 mark question, but it wasn't. So, cool. Alright. That should be good there. Okay, we have to finish off this paper here using a diagram explain how a deadlock can occur in an operating system. Uh, a deadlock. Is, uh, a deadlock occurs when you have two processes, process one and process two. And they're both trying to get different resources. Resource one and resource two. Process one has resource one. Process two has resource two. Process one wants to get resource one and process two wants to get yeah, process two wants to get resource one and process one wants to get resource two so that um first point is c1 wants resource two but is holding resource one and then p2 wants want resource one but is holding resource two the That we should explain how software interface handling a system that contains one processor. Um, it's basically four steps. Um, so for part B, okay, I'll write ten minutes. Basically, it's four steps. Step one: the current process is removed from the CPU. Continues. Right. Okay, good. So part C now. Let's list and describe three stages of the process may be in during execution. You can have ready, running, or block. Slash. Ready, running. All right. So ready. The process is in the queue and waiting for the CPU time. Running. The process is. In the CPU and being done for a specific amount of time. Block the process is in a special queue that only releases it if a resource um, is given to the provider. If a needed resource is provided, if a needed resource is provided. Um, describe three components of a process control block. Um, you have the process ID, you have the uh, program counter, and then you could have the register information. There's an easier one, and I think it's super enough. Process ID, program counter, register information. Right? Process ID, the um, ID of the process, program counter, the address of the next. Instruction for this information, the register is used to the process value. Alright, that's six marks there, two marks each. Um, part two, part three, part three now. Seed one advantage of our menu interface or our command interface. Menu does not have to be done. Okay, cool.